Welcome to this demo on the Fanfare Visualization Portal. The first thing you'll see on the Interactive Visualization Portal is an overview of the forecasted flood risk in West Africa right now. It is a system that updates every day, and you can see which date was last updated by looking up here at the issue date. Today is the 8th of June 2020 and the system was last updated on this day. The issue date is very important to remember, since the portal will potentially show you another thing tomorrow. What you see in the overview map is basically colors. You have green for normal conditions, yellow for forecast of floods with relatively low severity, and then orange and red in increasing order of severity. The yellow indicates that the forecasted stream flow is above the two-year return period threshold. That means a stream flow magnitude that statistically is expected to happen once every two years. In orange, the threshold is a bit higher. It represents a peak event that is expected to happen once every five years. And red is the most severe. That means a forecasted stream flow peak that statistically is expected to happen once every 30 years. Every day, we make a forecast of 10 days ahead. Today is the first day of the forecast and then follows nine additional days. When you first look at the map, you're looking at the maximum flood severity forecasted across all 10 days. This gives you a quick overview if there is any flood situation forecasted in the coming 10 days. You can also click on specific dates to see what the situation is for that date. But remember, this may change in tomorrow's forecast. Fanfare provides several different forecasts for different models, different variables, and different flood thresholds. This can be seen and changed under the forecast settings. The default view currently shows forecasts made with the model Worldwide Hype version 1.3.5 for the stream flow variable using flood hazard thresholds determined by return period analysis of past simulations in each catchment. If you want to learn more about these things, click on the I button for more information. Right now, Fanfa has two models that produce new forecasts every day, the Worldwide Hype 1.3.5 and the Niger Hype 2.23. Choose Niger Hype in the drop-down menu to see the forecast for that model. It shows a different picture because it is a different model and because the forecast chain has a different configuration. With these two models, you get an indication of the uncertainty of the forecast in locations simulated by both models. One more thing I'd like to illustrate is the possibility to view severity levels using points. The default map view shows the colors per catchment, and sometimes these are very small, in which case you may not notice them. But the three buttons here can help you see the locations where the forecast exceed a specific severity level. You can see, for example, here in southern Liberia, stream flow is forecasted to exceed the two-year return period threshold. These buttons are here to help you find those locations. If you will need further help, there is a user guide, an explanation of the terms used in this portal. There is also a summary of the forecast accuracy and a link to the hydrology tap system, where you can find forecasts for previous issue dates. If you need more help, you can always go to the FANFA support page.